what you guys in this one we're going to be looking at removing Linux from a dual boot and going back to Windows 10 now before we do that if you're looking for a license key for Windows 10 or Office check this out this video has been brought to you by zero and nine use the discount code to get your cheap copy of Windows 10 Pro you can use the promotion code Brian W for Windows 10 professional OEM key and get a discount and get that for $12.79. If you're interested in Microsoft Office 2016 professional plus retail key, you can use the promotion code Brian-M and you can get a reduced uh, price on that as well by using that coupon code. Links in the video description. So what we're gonna do here is boot up uh, to our Windows 10. And uh, once we've booted up, we can then start to remove uh, the Linux from our operating system. So let's just go ahead and boot up here. And then we can uh, use mini tool to actually remove this from the operating system. So once you're at the desktop here, I'm just gonna quickly open up Disk Manager and you'll be able to see uh, the partition here. It doesn't give you much information inside Windows 10 whereas mini tool does give you a little bit more information here but you can see here this is our windows 10 partition the c drive and the other one is linux okay and uh, we're going to be removing that in this video so what we're going to do is go on the internet and download uh, mini tool partition wizard there's a free tool that you can download and use so i'm just going to quickly go to google here and search for google and then we can uh, search for the piece of software on Google. There we go. So all we need to do here now is just type in here mini tool or something like that. And it should come up uh, with the link. You'll see it at the bottom there. Mini tool partition wizard. Then all we need to do is go to the mini tool partition wizard uh, free uh, link here. Just click on this one and then click on the big blue download button. Now once we've got the software downloaded we can install this and we can use this to uh, remove our partition and you can also do this many other ways uh, but the good thing about uh, mini tool partition wizard is that it does have a built-in uh, real rebuild mbr and you're going to need to do that to remove uh, the linux uh, from the mbr there so what we're going to do here is save this to our desktop and then we can run this uh, once it's downloaded so okay so we're done with this page now so we can close this off and then we can go straight to the program and start to install it so we just close the page there we go and we'll go ahead and install this now there is a, a piece of software inside here which tries to install which you need to take the tick out of i'll show you how to do that in a second and this is the part here it wants to install norton security uh, deluxe so I'm just going to take the tick out of that and stop that from installing so just install there there we go now we can launch the uh, program web page will open but I can close that off in the background there we go now all we need to do here is just open up the mini tool partition wizard free version now if you've never used mini tool partition wizard before it's an awesome tool for managing your partitions and you can see here we do have our partition with Linux on it and all we need to do here is highlight this uh, partition and we can remove this uh, from uh, the actual system by just uh, right clicking on it and deleting partition or you can go to the left here and click on uh, delete partition now it says unallocated but it won't be uh, done yet until we hit the apply button up the top left hand side so all we need to do here now once we've got that in place is go up to the top left hand side here and click on apply and then this will uh, remove the partition from the computer so that's now done now all we need to do now is go to the c drive and right click on this and we can now extend this partition you'll see a little slider here where it says unallocated space and all we need to do is just pull this slider to the right hand side and take up all that unallocated space now again we won't be able to do this until we push apply so just push apply here and this will then 
uh, do that task for us there we go now we're still not out of the woods yet we still need to uh, rebuild the MBR so I'm just going to come down to the actual drive itself now so we don't want to do the C drive we want to click on where it says disk 1 right there and you can see it says MBR what we're going to do is go over to the left hand side and rebuild MBR and this will put everything back now just click on the apply again and click yes and this will rebuild the MBR there we go now all we need to do now is close the program off and reboot the PC and you will see uh, just the normal standard uh, boot up screen for Windows 10. So let's restart the system. And once we've restarted here, you'll just get the normal screen. You won't get that grub menu no more. That's all gone. So now you know how to dual boot your system with Windows 10 and Linux. And you can also now uh, remove it from the system as well and go back to Windows 10. A word of warning here, if you are going to dual boot your system, you will need to make sure you've got backups of all your data. And also you may run into problems when Windows does update and does one of those big updates. You may lose uh, the actual uh, dual uh, boot menu where you'll need to rebuild that and uh, you should be back up and running. Anyway, I think that's about it for this video. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.